Johannes. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Tiffany. How are you? Excellent. Hello, everyone, and welcome to IoT Marketing's LinkedIn Live. I'm Tiffany Nielsen, and with me today is our CEO and founder of IoT Marketing, Johannes Beekman. And Johannes, happy International Women's Day. <laughs> happy International Women's Day, uh, Tiffany. It's a great day to have a, a live uh, LinkedIn Live on Happy International Women's Day. Yes, yeah, so to all of the women out there, happy International Women's Day to you as well, and to everyone watching. And as to be expected, our team's been busy researching all of these different topics that we'll be covering in our Industry Insights webinar series. And for anyone that has not seen one of our webinars, we have a monthly broadcast that is a part of our series where we talk about how technology is being used in a new industry each month. And so it can be quite challenging, but we're constantly learning, right, Johannes? Uh, yes, we are. We are. We uh, are constantly learning. We are constantly improving, and we keep improving the uh, users' experience for our audience. And so far, this year has been incredible. We had our 2022 Emerging Trends Edition, and last month we had our High Tech Homes webinar where we talked about smart home technology and home automation. And we had an excellent panel for that. And we did have a few small technical glitches though. Webinar platforms, they're difficult. You know, some things are out of our hands, but we do want a wonderful user experience for everyone that, that attends our webinars. And Johannes, is there anything else you'd like to say our, to our audience about that topic? Well, um, so over the past two years, and we've been doing this now for almost two years, uh, Tiffany, we have created our own hardware and software stack. And we've been, and we kept pushing the technology to the limit to improve the user's experience. We are, just to give an example, we are currently using our fifth webinar platform simply because the previous ones couldn't keep up with our requirements, what we expect from, from the platform. Um, my apologies to our audience for last month, which what turned out to be a stress test of one of our platforms. Uh, we did the analysis, obviously. We know what went wrong, and we have. We can assure you, we've taken precautionary measures to make sure that we don't repeat the stress test. Thank you, Johannes. And as to be expected, our smart home topic was much bigger than we initially thought. And so are there any topics that we didn't get to cover in detail that maybe you wanted to highlight, Johannes? Well, um, uh, well to, to give you an idea how, how big uh, smart homes really are, I mean, uh, in the past, and, and if I may paraphrase, just it, it wasn't that long ago, the home was a place to sleep and eat. So what struck me is how much functionality, and we haven't even touched on everything that's being added to the home. So um, from right now, if you want to, you can have a professionally fully automated uh, food preparation uh, equipment in your kitchen. And, and of course, given the pandemic and uh, the fact that a lot of people are still working from home, if you either you've added office space to a home or if you, you build a new home, you will add office space because uh, you you know that uh, family members will work or study from home either full time or part time. So uh, there's a lot that's been added. Uh, but what really struck me, and I wasn't aware before we did the uh, research for the webinar, but um, wellness technology. Wellness technology was was new to me, and but wellness technology also in itself is a broad topic. And of course, uh, wellness, you, you think about air, water quality, monitoring and improving, obviously, but also home health monitoring. So it is, it's a big market. It's a half a, a trillion dollar market already. And I, I can assure you that in 10 years from now, the home will be very different from the homes that we're living in. And we haven't even touched on sleep tech. So uh, a lot of topics that we couldn't touch on, a lot happening in the home. It's it's a completely different home from uh, the homes that we we were living in 10 years ago. And I think some of the topics that I found to be surprising was that it's not just about our wellness. It's about the home's wellness itself, because there's air quality, water quality. There are so many things that go into the wellness of a home, as well as sustainability. And so and with what's happening 
with our environment and with climate change, it's important that we all do our part and live a little more sustainable. And so as we see all these new devices coming into the home, a lot of those are edge devices. And are you not sure about what edge is? Well, we're doing a living on the edge webinar this month. And so it's a very fascinating topic. I know it hits extremely close to me because I live in Las Vegas and one of our panelists will be Michael Sherwood, who's the director of information and technology for the city of Las Vegas. And he's gonna be talking about what's happening in Las Vegas in our efforts to reduce emissions and provide better traffic control, as well as several other points that I'm sure he'll highlight during the webinar. And Johannes, what are you looking most forward to with our Living on the Edge webinar? Well, um, what I'm looking forward to, and, and I uh, invite uh, everybody uh, in the audience here to attend uh, the webinar at the end of the month, because this year, 2022, uh, edge computing will be the biggest trend. It will be all, all over the, the news. The reason is very simple. We simply produce too, too much data. And we cannot continue pushing that data all the way from the edge into the cloud. Uh, and then pretty soon, we'll reach the point where we cannot store the data anymore. So edge computing is becoming more important. And there are... Well, it's not just the fact that uh, data can be kept at the edge, but there are other benefits to the edge. So join us March 31st to learn about what's happening on the edge. Yes, and you can register now at www.iotmktg.com. And so we're looking forward to that webinar as well as several more that we have planned this year. But before we go into detail about those events that we have on the agenda, I'd first like to highlight our new community. And so we have a new on-demand community that we're launching. And so we invite you to check it out. There's a free trial that you can subscribe to. And you can not only watch our content on demand, but you can also chat in different forum-like groups with these different videos so that you can continue the conversation, continue to network, and continue to ask questions and learn from each other. Anything you want to highlight about our community, Johannes? Um, I would say join our community if you want to stay uh, updated with the latest technology trends. And uh, we produce a ton of content every month. And there's only so much we can cover in the live webinar. But all that content is available as soon as it has been created for our community. Second, uh, the wheel of innovation is spinning faster and faster. Uh, be it driven by the pandemic, be it driven by uh, geo, but the things that are going on currently in, in Europe, uh, the innovation is getting faster and faster. So uh, sign up for our community if you like what we're doing and if you want to stay abreast of the current technology trends. And prior to the pandemic, we were using trade shows to help get our clients' messages out. And as the pandemic came upon us, we saw webinars as a great way to keep the IoT and tech ecosystems connected, as well as to be a resource for different individuals and businesses that are looking to implement connected solutions and need some guidance on what steps to take, what steps not to take. And so that's really the core of how our community came to be, just in case you were wondering. And we've covered everything from manufacturing to the energy sector, smart health, smart cities, retail, transportation logistics, data security. There's something in our webinars for everyone. So we've done travel, space, construction, AR, VR, smart money, and we have an annual award show as well. And so we'll be doing our third annual Industry Insights IoT Awards this December. But next, after living on the edge, we are going to cover Earth 4.0, the shift to Earth 4.0, and how Industry 4.0 is affecting our planet. And that's such an important topic these days, Johannes. How do you feel about that topic? It's, uh, it's a very important topic, um, especially what's happening in, in Europe. Uh, you can, we can expect some uh, impact to the supply chain. And yeah, uh, at the end of the day, our planet will suffer. So yes, we have to build in sustainability, focus more on sustainability, um, because we are reaching the tip, tipping point very soon. Yes, we are. And in May, we're going to be talking about connected skies with drones and SATCOM. And we do have some seats still open on that panel. So if you're interested in participating, please let us know. And we'll also be talking about the future of food in June. 
and made to order in July, where we're going to talk about 3D printing and customization. And then we will have the future of connectivity, where we will dive in, uh, deep in again into telecom and talk about the latest innovations for connectivity. I mean, 5G, we thought that was the newest. No, now there's 6G being talked about and Wi-Fi 6, no, Wi-Fi 7's right around the corner. So it's hard to stay ahead of all these technologies, but we do a lot of research so that we can give you the inside scoop and keep you ahead of the digital curve. And we will also be hosting a summit this September, and that's the Summit of Things, and it will be all IoT. And I'm sure you're excited about that one, Johannes. Yeah, I'm really looking for, forward to that because it, uh, we have a great community. We have uh, a lot of ideas. There is, uh, it really allows us to expand on, on what we've been developing. So it's going to be a great summit and we'll have uh, great speakers in mind. So uh, just join us for the summit. And we'll also be doing our October webinar on intelligent thinking about machine learning and AI. And November is such an interesting month because you've got Thanksgiving and then there's the holidays in December. So we will be doing a combined Industry Insights IoT Awards in December. So there's lots of opportunities for speaking, sponsorship, advertising. So please get in touch with us if you'd like to learn more about our opportunities or are interested in any of our services. IoT Marketing offers a variety of services from branding to lead generation, PR, production, content creation. Johannes, is there anything you'd yeah, like to add on that note? No, it's, it's, we are full service. And uh, what we do, and most people don't realize that, is that everything that uh, you see is produced in-house. So we, um, we can do the same thing for the companies that uh, we work with, for speakers, for the companies that are in the room. So yeah, reach out to us if you're looking for uh, any content uh, services, production services, video services, whatever you can think of, whatever you need, basically, to get more visibility or get more leads, uh, contact us. We, we can develop a program and for any company, wherever they are on the growth curve. And we do like to keep you informed of all the breaking news, especially when it pertains to IoT. And so the latest news pertaining to IoT would be the update for NIST. So NIST has new guidelines for data collection and usage for IoT devices, and that will come in the form of IoT labels. So if you are in the IoT ecosystem, be sure to keep your eyes on that information. Anything you'd like to say on that news, Johannes? Well, I think it's 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 a great initiative. It's it, it's an important initiative, and um, it, it's great uh, to have an independent entity like the NIST um, develop a program and develop a standard uh, to for this kind of labeling for uh, of the software and the hardware. So, um, kudos for the NIST that they're taking the initiative. There will be more, but um, I'm, uh, I think this will be a great step forward. And we, be, we will be doing more of these IoT marketing lives every second Thursday, move, second Tuesday moving forward. And every second Thursday, we'll be hosting the Mind Mind broadcast with Dr. Joe Perez. So that takes place in only two days. So be sure to come back to LinkedIn uh, to the IoT marketing page where you can watch our Mind to Mind broadcast where we will be springing into success this month with some success strategies and tips on goal setting and measuring those goals. And Johannes, also the Living on the Edge, they definitely need to sign up for that. So there's lots of events for everyone to attend. Any final thoughts, Johannes, as we wrap things up? Well, uh, sign up for Living on, living on the Edge. Um, the Edge is where the rubber meets the road. The Edge is where we meet the, the technology. So the more you understand of what's happening there and the more you understand what uh, what can be done there if you're a provider um it benefits us all so just uh, join us for living on the edge and have a look at and we'll publish the uh, event for the second half of this year uh, make sure that you look into those and let us know if you're interested in participating in any of them and you can always study up on any of the topics that we cover in our webinars by visiting our blog on IoT marketing 
website. It's iotmktg.com. And you can read up on the blogs. You can register for our webinars. And hopefully we'll see you on Thursday for the Mind to Mind broadcast. So thank you for joining us today. And happy International Women's Day. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Johannes. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.